Hey, my name is Steven de Vever. Welcome to this second show me do on running Linux on your Windows system. So in the previous part I showed you how you can download and install the free VMware player. This is a tool that allows you to run a, an other operating system inside Windows. Now in this part I'm going to show you how to download and configure VMware so you can run Knopix on your Windows system. Knopix is a version of the free Linux operating system and it comes with a whole set of tools and, and software um, ready installed and ready for use. Now Knopix comes in the form of a live CD and in the Linux world a live CD is a CD-ROM that you can put in your machine in your PC and that you can boot from. So when you boot from this CD-ROM a Linux operating system will launch and you can use that on your PC. If you reboot your PC and you start or boot from your hard disk again like you normally do you will get Windows again. So the live CD allows you to run Linux on your system without changing your hard drive or requiring you to make any specific settings or a configuration. This live CD can also be used with the VMware player so you can boot Knopix, the live CD version with VMware player and I will show you how to do that now. So I'm on the Knopix website, that's knopix.com and on the bottom of the page there's a download link, I click on that and here is a list of mirrors so you can choose a mirror that's close to you. Now as you can see there's a lot of German download sites that's because Knopix is mainly being developed in Germany. Now I'm going to choose a mirror close to home in Belgium and I click on HTTP. I get an agreement. I accept that. And in this screen I choose the latest latest version of Knopix and that's this one. Knopix version 5.0.1 and when you download, make sure you're downloading a file that ends with .iso. So for downloading, just click on this link and save it. Now, ISO is a special format and it's actually an image of a CD-ROM with an ISO file and um, a CD writer installed you can burn an ISO image file to a CD-ROM and once the burn process is complete you have the CD-ROM um, as it's um, authored in this ISO file. So normally what you would do is download the ISO, Knopix ISO file, burn it on a CD-ROM and boot your system with that CD-ROM. In this case, when the download is complete, I'm not going to wait for that now, um, I can boot the ISO file with the VMware player inside my Windows. For that to work, I, I need a configuration file and I, um, I have one here. And the important thing, this is a typical VMware uh, in a configuration file, the important thing here, here is that you set the IDE 0 colon 0 dot file name to the name of the Knopix ISO file. You can download this file from the Show Me Do wiki. So you don't have to write this yourself. And when the download of the Knopix file has completed, 
you can place this configuration file knopix.vmx and the ISO file so let me show you the details this ISO file, the file you, you've downloaded from the Knopix website in the same directory that's all you have to do and the next step is to double click on knopix.vmx as you see it has a special icon and that icon is there because you installed the VMware player if you don't get this icon when you download this file from the show, show me do wiki then maybe your VMware player wasn't installed correctly so I just double click on knopix.vmx and I get this VMware screen and as you see VMware is actually a PC inside the PC it's called a virtual PC or a virtual machine I get the Knopix 5.0 boot screen and it says please hit the enter key to start Linux from CD now the CD in this case is the ISO image but the result is as if we burned a CD and put it in our CD-ROM drive and booted from it so I waited long enough I don't have to press enter and the screen gets bigger now but I'll resize it so that you can see it so what you see is the boot process for uh, typical Linux boot process, process and it's the Knopic Live CD that is uh, starting on inside VMware so it's detecting my hardware, my CPU um, my USB and my firewire um, inside my PC and it's now checking other devices, found my mouse it found my Ethernet card and it continues to boot and again the screen becomes bigger I'll resize it and after the, the initial boot sequence has completed you get or we get inside the graphical uh, part of Knopix and so this is called X Windows and it's comparable to regular Windows so it's a graphical environment uh, where you can run your programs I'm going to make one change you don't have to do that uh, I'm going to click configure desktop and I'm going to lower my resolution here so that everything fits on the screen you don't have to make this change okay so I have this so I have this Windows environment and when you initially move your mouse you will find that you're not inside the VMware screen you can move your mouse anywhere you want if you click you see that the mouse pointer changes and you're let's say stuck inside the VMware screen and you're actually your mouse is now commanding Knopix if you press as it says on the in the left uh, lower left corner of the VMware screen if you press Control alt you your mouse will leave VMware and will be able to move inside Windows again so here you see uh, the message if I click again you will see to it that it says to return to your computer press Control alt I press Control alt and I'm free to move my mouse again and I can change position of the window again so I click again and I'm again inside the VMware screen so what you're see, seeing here is 
a virtual PC. It's not your, your actual Windows environment. It's a virtual uh, environment where VMware simulates a PC. And we're running Linux. You can um, go about and start whatever program you want. For example, there's OpenOffice installed, so you can inst run one, one of its uh, programs. If you followed the Python series on Show Me Do, here is Python. So just select it from the menu and you can print something to the screen. Like that. And pressing Ctrl D will exit. If you're following the Perl series on Show Me Do, here is an icon for the console. Just click on it, type Perl, and you again can print the hello world message using Perl. And just click the close button icon here or just type exit. So Congratulations! You've booted your um, you, you've booted Knopix inside VMware. Now, if you want to close uh, v VMware, you can either click, and I'll show you. So you press Control Alt together. You can click here on the, on the in the top right corner of the VMware screen and this will passivate your session so what will happen is that VMware will write everything that's in the memory of this virtual machine to the disk and if you double click on the same file again on the knopix.vmx file um, VMware will reload your entire session and you will end up here again I advise you to do that if you want to continue using Knopix um, and you don't want to lose your settings or some changes you made. You can also open this menu, choose log out and say turn off computer. I'm not going to do that. But remember you're inside a virtual machine that booted a Linux Live CD so you're not writing anything to a hard disk. Any changes you make are only in the memory, so you when, when you shut down um, Knopix, you will lose the changes you make. Next time you boot, you will get the original configuration again. So that's it for uh, this Show Me Do. If you have any questions or you want to learn about something specific uh, while using VMware in combination with Linux or Knopix, then please leave a message on the Show Me Do website and um, I, maybe I can cover that or your preferred topic in the next part. See you later.